Hello my YouTube friends, I want to welcome you to another exciting lesson in Revit. Now in this lesson, I'm going to teach you on how you can model Reba that is on a two-way slab. As you can see from here, you see that if I just orbit, we have the Reba here. And I'll show you on how to do this step by step without skipping anything so that you can start modeling Reba just after watching this lesson from start to finish. Now we'll create this and if I just go to this detail, you see that this is the section and this is what we are going to do in this lesson. Now please don't just watch my videos. If you like what I'm doing, of course, make sure that you like my videos and subscribe to this channel. So let me not waste time. Let's get started in this lesson. Now, before I proceed, I want to ask all of you, my viewers, I have some courses in Revit Architecture, Revit Structure, Robot Structure Analysis Profession, and more courses are coming. So check the links in the description. If you're interested, join me and see you on the other side. So I'll continue in this lesson to create what we are seeing here and also this section, as you can see. So the first thing that I want to do is to just delete. Let me just do all the river on this lab so that you can see on how to do it from start to finish so i'll just go to filter and make sure that i delete the river from there okay and just click on delete you can see that we don't have any river here now i'll simply go on top there and let me just counter check by going to south here and you see that this lab is at uh it's on level seven so i'll just go to level seven right there and double click and you see that I'm on top here. Okay. So if you want to create a section, of course, I just need to create one or two sections or maybe I don't want to delete these two. If you want to create a section, you can just go to view, click on the section that is the detail or you can use in a building section from here as you can see and you can just click the first point. You see, this is how you're able to create those sections. If you want to create to, to create it, in the other direction, you can just click on section and do that. So for those who may not know how to create a section, and this is how you can create, and you can just reduce the extents by just dragging, you know, the box like that. So I'll simply delete this one because I already have the two sections. I'll just click OK and also delete that one equate because I want to make use of this one. OK, it's clean and I want to see, you know, the reinforcement there and see how it comes out. So I'll go there. And from here on top, I'll start now placing the river. Okay. I'll click on the slab. As you can see, once you do that, go to the river. Right now, the first thing that you need to do is to pick the shape code that you want. Now, there are several options or ways of placing river on a slab. You can go to the section. Okay. Or I can still place, you can still place your river on top of the slab. So this is what I'm going to use. I'll just pick the shape code and if I just go down here, you see that this is the shape code that I want to pick so that later on I can modify or oh, I've already deleted the river there. Okay, so I'll still go back there and you see what we are going to do in this lesson. So let me go back and just pick that shape code there, which is called, this is shape code 26. I'll click on it and from here you can pick the river. This is H, the type is H16. You can choose what you want to use. And from here, I'll go to the placement plane. Let me start with, you know, we have the near cover. I'll pick this one. Okay, then go to the placement orientation. And I want to pick parallel to cover. Let me click like that. Move my cursor there. You can see that the river, I have one place there. So I can place the first one vertically and also the other one horizontally. I want to have two vertically, one here and the other one there, and also two horizontal. You see, if I move closer there, it's, it's horizontal, and if I move there, it's vertical. So I'll place it maybe somewhere there, okay? And you see that I have the river. So I'll click on modify to exit from there. So you see that I have the river there, this one and this one, and the other two is this one and that one. If I just want to change to you know, to two lines for the river, I can do that. And that is the river that I have. So now I'll just go to the 3D view so that I see what I've placed from here. I'm just going to change this one to wireframe. Let me click there, go to wireframe so that I can see my river. Now you see that this is not how I want to see my river. It's fine. The only thing that you need to do, I'll start with this one. Of course, you saw how the, you know, the shape code was. That's how I want my river to be here. 
if I just go to space bar, tap there, tap there, until you see what you want to see. This is how I want my ribbon to be. I'll click outside and click on that one. Tap, tap. Okay. On your space bar, on your keyboard, click outside. I'll do the same. Okay. For the others. Okay. So that it's close to what I want to achieve. Like that. And you can see that the ribbon is right there. Okay. Now I'll change, you know, this one. To maximum spacing by going to maximum spacing as you can see i have the ribbon there and i'll change the spacing to 200 now that is entirely up to you i'll click you know outside there and i also want to change the other one which is remaining now i hope that i'm going to see it but i can orbit like that let me also change the other one i'll come to it i'll change this other one also and change this one to maximum spacing and i'll change the value to 200 click outside there so i need also i think the other one which is remaining is that one from there that is just one bar and i'll still go to maximum spacing and i want to change this one to 200 also right then click okay they are in the same place from here because the spacing is the same so i'll click there what I want to do is to select one of those and just drag it a bit. But let me do it from level 7 there. Right. So from here, I can pick this one because it's within the same place there. And simply drag this one so that it's somewhere in the middle. Like that. Then I'll pick the other one. But I think there's one bar which I didn't pick in one direction. I'll see it later in section. I can, I can counter check it and change it. Okay. Now I'll go to my section. Let me click there. I think it's this one. I can see it now. Let me just try to click that one. Or this one. All right. Right. Let me just move this one in the middle. Okay. This is what I want. And I will pick that one. Let me just try to counter check. To see the bar that I placed. The one which is. You know, a single bar. Okay, I can't see it now, but I will still check it as I go to my section. I'll go to the detail there and let's start with this one. Okay, so what I want to do here is first of all to click on it. And what you need to do is to go to edit sketch. We are right here under the edit sketch. I can now just, you know, edit this sketch depending on how you want your, your, your bar to be. So I'll just delete that one. You can see that there are two, but I want to deal with this one first, maybe. Now, the distance there, make sure that you refer to your detailing rules, you not know, to your code, and see how far the bar has to go there. So I'm just going to use, you know, 880 centimeters right there. And I'll click the line there. And then from there, I'm going to go down at 45 degrees, just like that, then cancel. And I'll just use TR for trim on your keyboard. And you can see that, oh, what have I done? Let me undo once. I'll pick that one and that one so that I've trimmed like that. So I'm done with this one. I'll click on finish. All right. So this bar, I'm okay. Now you see that for the new feature in Revit 2024.1, I'm able to see the bars like that, as you can see. Now I just want to add the hooks there. I'll select on the bar there and you can go on the hooks and click on override hooks. Okay. Once you click there, you have two options, either changing it from here or actually for the hooks, you just need to click there and just go to hook at start there. You can have 90 and then hook at the end. I can go there and change to 90, move inside. You can see that you have the hooks. Now you see that I clicked on override hook lengths. Again, I just want to mention that if you don't have Revit 2024.1, this is an update. You can still change the hook lengths from within here. You don't have to worry. You can go here. This is 240. And for example, if you want to have 100, okay, I can do that. You see it changes. But since I have this update 2024.1, I can still change it from here, which makes it even much faster. And you see that you have those hooks. Now, I'll also do this one. Let me, we have this one and that one. Okay, so there's one bar that I would like to change. I'll click on that one. 
let me click on space bar okay i want it to go in the other direction you can see that once i do that i can achieve what i want by just you know clicking on the space bar so this is how i want my other bar to be so i'll select on it and click on edit sketch my viewers i want to be as slow as possible so that you can follow me i don't have to rush you so that you can know what is supposed to be done here so i'll select on that and i'll delete from there and again i want to have from there up to the end maybe 80 centimeters which is 800 millimeters so i can even type from there i think so then just type 800 you click like that you see that it's 80 centimeters now i'll click there and maybe from that point i want to have maybe 135 okay like that and just click there now you just need to you know to trim here the arrow on your keyboard click that one and that one and you see that we have that one there click on finish all right i'll cancel there so we have that bar there and i'll just add the hooks there by going to override hook lens just click there and i want to have hook at start from here 90 degrees then hook at end i'll click there 90 degrees so you see that we have the hooks now you see that if i click there i can change it from here to whatever number you want i'll do that and go on the other side and change this one to whatever number you want okay and you see that we have this one now there's one thing i need to do you can see that the bar here there's a collision there so i just want to move the bar in section up there so i'll just move the cursor there then dab on my keyboard and select on it now i can use the ribbar constraints from there i'll just click there click on constraints and if i just click the line there once you see that i have zero there i can click there then put a negative this is bar 16 just type there and click enter you see that it will go up by that value then click on finish click outside okay so we have it there so you can still select on the bar in section and drag it just a way of making sure that you know your detail or the placement placement of your ribbon is correct i'll leave it there and you can see that we have it right there now let me also open a different section all right so i'll go to you know to level seven there i think the one we have opened is this one then i'll go back to level seven and open this section from here okay so now from here we can change what we want i'll go to realistic okay so and change this one maybe to find level of detail as you can see we have it right there now from here remember i said we also need bars in on two directions i'll go to level seven and just counter check this section right i'll just drag it up to somewhere there to reduce the extents double click and you can see that my bars are right there so i'll do the same and select this one and i'll click on edit sketch all right once i do that i'll do the same thing that i did by clicking on delete select on that just drag it up to somewhere there again you know it depends on the design the span of your slab and make sure that you calculate these things as an engineer but i'll leave it at you know 900 and i'll pick it from that point let me just pick there and this one i want to come at 45 and click there right click cancel and i'll just use the arrow on my keyboard this one and that one we have it there all right so last thing i'll click on finish then i'll have to add you know the hook lengths from there i can go to hook at start click there and also the hook at the end i'll go there then i can change this one you know the hook length can also change my hook lengths from here now let me just try to mirror this one because i also need the bar in the other direction from there going down there so i'm going to use the draw axis to mirror then i'll pick the, i think that should be the middle point click there and click there as you can see i have the bar in the other direction then you can even see that it's on top there what i need to do is to just select on that bar maybe i want to drag it inside a bit i can do that and zoom in there i can do the same on the other side so 
see we have all those bars as you can see from here now on top i also need some bars there i can either do it from my you know from the top of the slab but i can also place some bars because i need the bars here if i go to detail 5 i also need some bars here and there and i'll just do it within the section so i'll start with this one then i'll select you know the slab there and i'll go to river okay so i need to pick the shape code the, under the river shape browser i'll just pick you know this one there a straight bar and you see let me over my cursor there i can't okay i can see it as a dot which is okay this is what i want make sure that you just counter check so this is near cover reference then under the placement what do we have perpendicular so let's try to place one bar there all right i'll just have a bar somewhere there then right click cancel and pick on the bar let me see if i do maximum spacing if okay it goes the correct orientation so i'm okay with it now i can zoom in here to grab it from here and i want to drag it on the other side there so i'll continue because i want the bars in section to just end up to somewhere there i'll drag it want the bars to end up to somewhere there and i'll simply mirror these bars on the other side as you are going to see i'll select on the bar there then click on draw axis and i want to pick it from the middle okay from that point click there see that we have the bars on the other side so i'm happy with what i have here i'll go to the other detail and just make sure that i create the bars within there i'll go to slab there then click on river and i'll proceed and just have my bar there okay then i'll cancel from there then select on it then have maximum spacing from here I want to change this one to 200 hoping that i also change the other one but i can still go back and do that click on the bar and i just want to drag it the other side see what is happening here i'll drag it there and just drag it up to somewhere there then i'll mirror this one by clicking there and i'll pick that point and that point you see that we have the bars and make sure that everything is inside okay so from here i'll go to my 3d view and you see that i have my bars right there as you can see now there's this single bar i think this one i can just delete it i'll counter check if i need some more bars inside i'll go there and go to realistic now i'll select everything here all the bars filter check none just structure river and i'll go under the you know office of all click on apply and okay and now go under the visibility states this is a 3d view so i want to be it to be seen as an obscured i'll click there as you can see i have the bars so it looks perfect if there's a bar that you have missed you can still go ahead and change it so this is how you create the river on a two-way slab it looks perfect you can continue doing the detailing from here and you can continue changing things for example from here if i just want to you just need to move the bars here and there you know so that maybe they are not colliding but i'm not worried because during construction you are able to move these bars but i can even do it from here if you want to avoid these collisions i can select on that bar and just a matter of using river constraints i'll pick the top there maybe i want to have negative 16 just like that just click on ok and you can start having you know your bars you know avoiding let me click on finish what's happening here all right this negative 16 make sure that you have negative 16 enter okay so you can start avoiding those collisions as you can see but i think i'm okay with what i have and this is the riba and those are the two details that we have and we can continue now detailing and producing 2d drawings so thank you very much for watching i was so slow in this lesson so that you follow if you like what i'm doing please subscribe to this channel you do well that will help me a lot and you, you motivate me to do more and more see you in some upcoming lessons